see it like that. Morning. Hello, everybody. Monday. Oh, look, the children's TV presented. I do that. Hi. <laughs> anyway, lots of lovely people. So we've got to start a new week. Today is lots of strength, and I want you to really concentrate on that, and not much cardio. So we can absolutely go for it in the cardio because there's probably one, two, three, three bits that aren't that bad. So I'm going to what it is. We're going to do six strength exercises in a row for about 40 seconds, covering the whole body, and one from the other list. And the other list is core and cardio mixed up. Then we're going to do five of those and two of those, four of those and three of those, three of those, Two of the three of those, something like that. <laughs> so I've got two lists side by side. I think I've got to have my width about me to save our souls and our legs. So many lovely people. Let me just get enough room in that on those floorboards. Move that a bit. Hide the lamp. Okay, lovely peeps. Let's crack on. Should we warm up? Let's do it. We're going to have a big breath in first, so you don't want you to breathe in as you raise your arms up. And breathe out as you sort of stretch as well. Breathe in. And breathe out. One more. Breathe in. <clears throat> and out. Now just take your feet slightly wider. Reach up diagonally across there. Not too wide, not too much to the side, just a little bit sort of more up. I'm going to stretch and relax and your waist and up. Really straighten the arm. Try to do it like you mean it. And then we're going to go a little bit wider now, but keep the hips still. Morning Dilly, morning Joy, morning all the Emmas. It seems to have lots of Emmas, lots of Ellens. Morning Sally. Yeah, it is another day in paradise. Up and then reach out across here. Reach out, keep your feet planted still. Perfect. But now I want you to come on your knees. So I want you to just come on your knees. Take this leg out, turn out, and just push forwards and back. Push forwards, I'm just doing a dynamic hip flexor stretch. We're going to do a little strength work. And then we're going to change legs. So take the other knee out. Toe diagonally, and you're going towards that toe. I'm just giving a stretch here. Lovely to see you. Thank you for joining me. Don't want to be doing this on my own. What point is that? Okay, let's get out there. Little squat to the left and the right. It's very dark in here. I've got the same amount of light. So sorry, the picture's a bit rubbish. Down and up. That's it. Perfect. Hands behind the head now. We're going to do a squat and elbow, opposite elbow to knee. So try not to just bring the elbow in front of your face. You don't have to squat too low for the moment. We're going to do four more. One, <clears throat> two, three, four. And I want you to walk out. Roll down, walk out. Knees down, one press up. We disappeared on time. Hips up. Roll up. Do that again while I just adjust the laptop. Just roll down. Put your knees on the floor. And again, roll down. One press up. Lift your hips up, get a stretch on the back of your legs and your calves and roll up. We'll do one more. Roll down. Knees on the floor. Drop the elbows back up. Perfect. Okay, I want you to do a side lunge now. Side. Remember, you're sticking your hips out behind you, and you've got your back parallel to the floor. Toes are facing forward, so try not to pull that. Toes are forward, and you stick your hips out. Four more. One, two, three, four, four. Now keep your legs wide, side to side. Quite a good pace. Eight, perfect. Nine, ten. Come on, ten more. Nine, eight, seven, six. After this, 
two, one, we're going to do a walking burpee. Roll down, walk out, dump them in, walk them out, come back up. Up. I think I've done that wrong in my Sorry, go mad. Hands down, walk out, jump in, stand up. So you don't have to even do that little jumpy thing in. You can walk them in. Stand up and again. Up, perfect. Up, one more. I want to stay in that plank now. Stay in that plank. Put the right foot by the right hand. Open up. Other side. So try and really plant the foot by the hand. We are going to have such a great week. Last four, come on, four more. One, two, two more, and then you want to do five warm up press up, please, with your knees on the floor. Don't care how you do them as long as they're not too hard. Two, three, four, five. Hips up. Squat with your toes turned out. Drop down and up and down. And really squeeze your glutes as you're coming up. So keep the knees pushed down for the glutes are fired. Hold it up halfway and down and up and down. Three more. One. Down. Two. Three. Down. Give me ten star jumps. And four forward lunges. I lost count that. Say that's ten. One, two, three. Ten more star jumps. And then ten reverse lunges. Sorry, four reverse lunges. Five, six, seven. It is Monday. Cut me some slack. Eight, nine, ten. One, drop the knees to stay upright. Two, three. Four. Little hamstring curls with a little bob. Perfect. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Maybe there. Three. Two. One. Perfect. Okay, crackers. So, six straight exercises in a row. <clears throat> I'm going to show you them. If we do all six together, I'm going to show you one after the other. So if you need to have your dumbbells nearby, you only need one for the first one. I'll show you. It is a side lunge with a front raise, just one dumbbell. If you're super strong and your shoulders aren't clean, have two dumbbells. Or if you've got to make really light. I'm holding three, which today feels like 10 kilos. And you're taking it up by your ears. So when you lift that dumbbell, you do all the back muscles too. It's quite a good compound exercise. Ready? We're going to do it for 40 seconds. Let's go. Lift, back, and up. Concentrate on the side lunge, then worry about the front raise. The thing is, you don't want to overdo and fling that dumbbell about, kind of place it up. Lots of core, lots of legs, glutes, everything. Back muscles. Oh. So 40 seconds. We have got only 10 to go now. The next one is a pulse squat with a shoulder press. There's only one more rep here. So you need to go and get your other dumbbell on your shoulders. Get something heavy. Squeeze up through the glutes. Have your toes slightly turned out. We're on. Let's go. Drive up. That's it. Squeeze. Use the glutes to power you up. Try and keep your elbows a little bit wide. I'm going to go back a bit because my hands are disappearing. That's better. 
Uh, come on. So if you're using heavy weights, you're going to really feel it in your core. Try and keep, not let the elbows come here. Try and keep them out to the side because that will use your upper back muscles too. Five more seconds. And then we're going to do a plank, no weights. One more. Okay. On your forearms, like this. And you can go without raising your hips. That's quite a challenge, okay? Hips stay absolutely still. If you want to go a little bit harder on that, go straight arms. I'm going to stay on here. Come on. Perfect. Tighten the stomach muscles. Lift with the glute. Don't raise your hips. One more each leg. Puffing's already started. Forward lunge with a bice, two bicep curls. So, forward lunge, one, two. Back up, other leg, go. So really straight, I'm gonna do it sideways on the next leg. Really straight, sorry, for what burn wobbling. Just keep the upper arm absolutely still. So you're not resting that back knee on the floor, I hope. That's it. Stay upright. Your heart rate will go up because you've got to maintain that lunge position, that isometric contraction. That's not very nice, is it? See, a lot of these are compound exercises, so they'll get your heart rate up without the need for cardio. This is our last one. Perfect. You've got walking weights down, walking press ups. We've done this before. Watch. Put the knees on the floor for the press ups. Let's go. I'm going to just kick the back my, that door. That's it. Come on. Try not to go like that. Okay. Drop the knees when it gets to the press ups. You have a sleeping baby on your back when you move. Come on. Ah. Come on. Ah. What have we got? Eight seconds. Come on. Come up. Last one is crunches. Stay down there. Legs up. Crunches. So this is the one. We're going to do this once because we will lose it. That's the one we're taking off. So after this, we're going to go to the first exercise of the other list, which is in fact a starfish crunch. So you're going straight from the ear into more crunches. Come on. 20 more seconds. Look just less now. Keep the knees above the hips. Keep breathing out as you're coming up. There's lots of things about this. We, we jump from one exercise to the other. One more crunch. Okay, straighten your legs out. Arms wide, legs wide. This is a starfish crunch now. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Oh. Reach right up. So remember, you can make it harder by keeping your feet an inch off the floor, but do squeeze your glutes. You can rest your head back on the floor in between, but leap up. Remember, we're going to be doing this six times. This one, because oh, it's the top of the list to be. Uh, oh, come on. But this is only for 25 seconds, just be. I've gone way over. Done. Roll over. Turn the toes under. Lift the hips up. Walk the hands back. Get back up. Grab one dumbbell. 
We're going back to the list. We're doing a side lunge with the front raise. We're taking off crunches. And we're adding burpees or walking burpees. Side lunge with the front raise. Let's go. So we've got time. We've got 40 seconds on this list. The other list is 25. You've got time to make the reps good. Make them work for you. That's it. Drop the shoulders. Lift. Perfect. Don't have bent arms. Don't make it about the biceps. Make it about the back muscles. Lift. The whole core is working so hard. Eight seconds. One more. Pulse squat with the shoulder press. Toes slightly turning up. In three, two, one. Let's do it. That's it. Squeeze. Drive up. So using the middle of your shoulder now in this straight overhead press. And you're doing that front raise because you're bent over. And you're using the back of your shoulder. Drive up. Come on. Keep low, so I know you've got two things to think about, but I want you to stay low in that squat. Come on. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Drive up, come on. Keep it low. After this, we've got our plank of the glute leg raises. Five seconds. One more rep, come on. Superb, drive up, ha, good. Okay, plank. On your forearms, all your wrists, whatever you like. Three, two, one. You can still do it with your knees off the floor. Just don't move, oh, sorry, on the floor, but don't move your hips. <sighs> Lift with your glute. Okay, so this is why it needs to be slow and controlled. <sighs> Come on. <sighs> this is good. This is good, come on. Squeeze the glutes. So much work being done on the core here. 15 seconds. What have we got? Seven. One more this leg, one more the other leg. Perfect. Knees down, come up. Next, forward lunge with two bicep doodads. Ready? Let's do it. That's it. So try not to do them as quick as possible because you're trying to avoid staying too long in that lunge. <laughs> I know. Tempting. Shoulder blades back. <sighs> Wonderful. <sighs> Up. And again, shoulders back. Down. Come on. <sighs> what are we doing? We've got seven seconds. So one more time, one more here. And then we've got our walking press-ups. Perfect, back up, weights down. Walking press-ups in three, two, one. Let's go. Doesn't matter how, even if you just do one tiny little thing to the side, that tiny little step to the back if you haven't got much room. Or if you're thinking, I don't want to do the walking bit, I just want to perfect my press-up technique, then do that. Uh, come on. We've got 15 seconds to go. Come on. Uh, make them your hardest, not your easiest. Me uh, there. One more, one more, come on. Well done, okay. Starfish crunch, roll over. Into burpee or walking burpee. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Oh. So remember, these are 25 seconds. So those of you who are not used to burpees, you stick to the walking ones. And those of you who are full on hardcore, I want blood, okay? I want blood today. Lift. Now I'm going to go straight into the 
Slow up, push the burpees. Roll over. You go. Three, two, one, go. Up, walking burpee. Out, out, jump in, stand up. Otherwise, come on. Yes. Don't worry about the arms above your head. As soon as you jump, you straight back down to the next one. Yes. Done. Okay. Now we go back to the top. You're going to take off walking press ups. Yes. And put on floor taps. And there you go. She said there wasn't much cardio. It's better. Ready? Side lunge with a front raise. In three, two, one. Let's do it. Step, raise. You don't raise as you step. Two separate movements. <sighs> Up. So as you start an exercise when you're already tired and puffed, your technique can go out the window. Don't let it. Stay hold of it. <sighs> Call on those muscles. <sighs> Come on. Lift. Lift, lift, lift. Uh, one more here. Then we've got pulse squat and shoulder press. Lift. Perfect. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's do it. So don't forget, get low. Oh, I'm supposed to do a pulse squat, aren't I? Sorry, that's my fault. Sit, squeeze, just gives the quads and the glutes a little bit more welly. That's it, come on, drive up. Up. Lovely, come on, come on, come on. Wonderful. So after this, we've got four lunge with two bicep curls. I oh, don't know, we've got a plank. Sorry. Oh, God. I'll get someone decent next time. On Wednesday, I mean. <laughs> someone who can actually hold it together. We're going to do two more reps. One. Two. Plank. Glute leg raise. What about the four lunge? Three. Two. One. Let's do it. Remember, just lift the leg in the bent position if you've got your knees on the floor. Or if you prefer, just hold the plank. But lifting that leg really challenges the stability of your spine. And you'll want to raise your hips. So if you're doing it in the kitchen and you've got a door, a glass door, look at your reflection. Or if you're in a mirror, can see a mirror. It's very useful. Uh, Ten seconds, people. Woo! Come on. One more, one more. Lift. Knees down. Jump up. Forward lunge. Two bicep curls in three, two, one. That's it. So really think about the bicep curl. Don't get them over and done with quickly. So you keep your upper arm glued to your body and tense your tricep at this part of the move. Stay low in that lunge. Don't come up. One more each leg. Ugh, a bit erratic, it's 40 seconds, didn't we? No walking press ups. We're going straight into starfish crunch. All my burpees, all my floor taps. In three, come, two, one. Arms wide, legs wide. Let's do it. Twenty-five seconds only. Then you're going to turn over, go straight into burpees, and then we're into floor taps. Come on, reach up. Get up towards that leg. Shoulder blades need to come off the floor. Other one as it's pointless. Up. Oh, come on. We're going to do five more seconds. 
One more rep. Roll over. Three, two, one, go. That's it. Come on. Don't forget to walk if you want to. Jump them in. Stand up. You don't have to do the jump. Where are we? Here we go. One more. Your taps. Now, three, two, one, go. So if you want to walk it, walk it. Otherwise, we're going for it. Monday, give me a Friday or Saturday feeling. Come on. Four, three, two, one. That's the other list. Side lunge, have a quick slip. Side lunge with the front leg. This time we're locking off the forward lunge. Adding vertical crunch here. Come on, Andy. come on, get a grip. In five, four, three, two, one. No flinging. Control. Because we are beautiful people and we have control of our lives. We're not going to worry about anything today. Most of it is out of our control. We're just going to do what we can to maintain some control for ourselves and our families and our livelihood and the bank account. And that matters at the end of the day, doesn't it? And look after each other. We're going to do two more, one each time. Maybe ring that person that you haven't spoken to for ages just to see how they are. Lift up. That was a bit profound, Annie. Eh? A bit profound. Here we go. Squat, pulse squat, eh? With a shoulder press. And so this is lower body, then it turns to upper body. That's why your heart rate will creep up because the blood has to, the heart has to shunt the blood both directions. Come on, lovelies. Let's do it for a bright, gorgeous Monday. The temperature's hotting up this week. So on Friday, I want to see sun-tanned, flushed faces. Get your dose of vitamin D. We're going to do one more after this. And we'll do a plank with the glute leg raise. Ready? Three, two, come on! One, let's do it. So try not to fling, try to place. So it's a good idea to flex that foot. Keep the back absolutely still. Imagine someone's trying to sleep. That's quite a good image to have in your head. Ridiculous, but effective. So bend the knee, come on. Keep it up, keep it up. That's it. What we've got, we've got just under 10. Roll over after this because we're leaving out the lunge with the bicep curl and we're going straight into a crunch. Roll over, starfish crunch. Three, two, one. Uh. That's it, go on, run over. And then we're into burpees, and then we've got floor jacks, and then we've got bicycle crunch. Uh. Come on. Uh, come on. Uh, uh, come on. Don't forget grunting noises are oh, absolutely compulsory. Uh, exhaling is also compulsory. I forgot what was 40 seconds. Sorry, 20, 25. <laughs> I can hear everybody moaning. Burpees. 25, I promise. Come on. I'm not doing 40 seconds of these, and neither are you. Hell no. Come on. Oh, come on. Let's get up. Woo! Come on. Do it. We've got five seconds. One more now. Floor taps. 
Three, two, one. Done! Come on. Get as low as you can. Work those hands in. You bend that knee. Ooh. Ten seconds. Yes. Done. Your bicycle crunch. So if you want to do bicycle crunch, you do this. Otherwise, you're going to in the air. Go. One elbow touching the floor. Yeah, come on. Push. Ten left. Don't do it fast. Place that leg, push it away. It's an effort for your stomach to keep that leg in midair. Done. We stay here for a bit. Ten seconds, then we're back up. Side lunge on front wings. We're losing the plank. And we're adding Russian twist here. Okay. One dumbbell. Paint your smiles on. Shoulders back. Let's do it. Come on, side lunge. Remember your hips are out behind you. Like that. I'm going to come towards you. Oh. Try and lift your, so your biceps are by your ears. Oh. That's it. Now keep going. Cracking, people. Really good. I'm going to do one more this side. One more on that side. And then we're going to do our pulse squat with the shoulder press. Three, two, one. Come on. So keep a nice straight back. Try not to hunch your back. Drive up. Come on. Squeeze. Come on. There's only two left on this list. We've got to do five on the other list. Two more, two more, come on. One. Two minutes, the last time you're doing that. Start with the crunch. Rolling over the burpees, floor taps, bicycle crunch, Russian twist. Ready. Three, two. Just because you're becoming familiar with this exercise now, try not to let yourself cut corners, okay? Still lift that leg. Breathe out and crunch across that diagonal. So if you had some treaty food at the weekend, I'm sure you did, I did, some treaty alcohol, try and stay chilled to the plan that you want to do for the next three or four days, okay? Cut out the sugary crap, burpees, and then we'll feel brilliant by the time it comes to the bank holiday, ready for another dose of treats. Go! Come on. Ha! Come on. Get up! Yes, this is good, come on. Nobody stop. One more. Four taps. Go. That's it. Fifteen to go. Perfect. Bicycle crunch in five seconds. Three, two, one. Ready? Legs up. Go. I know your legs are thinking, I just want to fling them out like that. Don't. Take that time. Do that. Oh. 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 
Come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, rushing twists. One leg up, both legs up, shoulders back, chest out. If you want a dumbbell, have a dumbbell. Change legs if you've got one leg that's dying. Don't be this, be that. Come on. I want your chest facing me, then away from me. Ah, done. Okay, we've now got side lunge on the front legs only, and we've got all of them. And we are adding on something delicious at the end. I'll tell you when we get there. Don't worry about it now. Ready. Side lunge with a front raise. Ready? Three, two, one, come on. Step, lift, back, and again. Get as low as you can so that the effort of raising that dumbbell is greater. Well done, everybody who are first chiners today. Hope this doesn't put you off. Welcome. There's another one at 10 o'clock today. For women at home, they've gone a bit later because I'm running some Zoom training sessions. Come on, we're going to do one more each side. One. Up. Other one. Perfect. Star. Fish. Crunch. Ready? Three, two, one. Go. Oh, this is the last time you're going to do this. Come on. Lift. Oh. I hope your mat is more comfortable than mine, because mine is non-existent. Oh. <laughs> so, this is 25 seconds. Now I'm going to roll over. Go straight into burpees. We're going to do it in 10 seconds time. Oh. Come on, lift up. You always put one hand behind your head. Lift, come on. One more. Roll over. Are you ready for burpees? Three, two, one. Let's go. Come on. You can't stop now. Yes, come on. Oh, man. What have we got? One more, one more. Draw taps. Keep going, keep going. Come on. Bit more, bit more, bit more, bit faster, bit faster. Come on. That's it. Come on. Three, two, one. Bicycle crunch. All of my Russian twist. <coughs> I was about to do starfish crunch there, didn't you notice? Come on. Rotate. One elbow touching the floor. Push the heel away. So try and tense the leg as you put it. I'll push it away from you. So flex the foot. That will help you. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Come up, Russian twist. Dumbbell if you want one. Drop the shoulders, chest down. One leg up or no legs up. Go. So you're leaning back a little bit so that your core is engaged. Come on. Not for 25 seconds though, I'm going to give you an amount of reps to do. A squat tap jump is this. Okay. I'm thinking 30. What? 
Okay, here you go. Go on, try. I'm going to do 30. If you don't want to do 30, think of a number. Say 20. You can't do 21, it has to be 20 or 30. Ready? Let's do it. Let's go. Come on. That's it. I'm catching all my fingers. Done. 10. That's it. Six. 20. Do not stand still. Amazing. Well done. Little sting in the tail. It's done. Okay. We're going to stretch hips and glutes. Just get your breath. So I want to lean against. Let me just turn the laptop. I want to lean against the wall. Put one heel down. One get your breath. And really, really stretch. Thank you for the comments, by the way. That's grey. A few people have been It's brassica, like or on the barrel wall. Just what I think. Okay. Other heel back. Now I want you to really feel it in the car. Really feel it. Push the heel down. Okay, don't run away. Because you've got to do hips. Okay. Grab your mat. Grab your bottom. You feel lucky enough to carpet. And you're going to. Line back, left foot and lift up. So left foot's on the right knee, your head is nicely relaxed. Now you're going to push that out like that. You may not feel very much, I don't feel much in this stretch, personally. Now I'm going to run a wedge tight. We're very stiff at the moment. Um, change legs, put this right foot, turn the knee out. And lift up. So that might be enough for you, and that's okay. Try and lift up, push the knee out, relax the shoulders, and hold on to that when you breathe. Remember, stretch your muscles need oxygen, so don't hold your breath. Okay, I want you to come up into a V. Left foot, sole of the foot on the inside of that right leg. Sit up out of your pelvis. Place your right foot. Take a breath in and walk yourself down. You might not get very far. Try not to pulse too much, but then to do that, walk forward and back. Ease yourself from your hips. So try to push your chest forward and have a straight back and ease yourself. Okay, we're going to hold it for 10 seconds. Take a breath in. Breathe out. 10, 9, 8, come on. 7, push down. 6, 5. Four, three, two, one. Come up. Uncross your legs. Might move a bit when you do that. Put the sole of the foot there. Push the knee down. So my knee won't go down anymore because this glute is worse. You see, I can't get very far on that side. You may have one side of you that's stiffer than the other. So take a breath in any way you can. Breathe out. Push. That's it. Hold it. Ten seconds. Five, come on, a little bit lower. Four, three, two, one. Take both legs wide. Sit on your sit bones. If that's uncomfortable, try and put something underneath your pelvis and push forwards. So go from your end of your chest to the floor. Try and get a stretch here. Bring your legs together slowly, shake them out. Come up onto one foot, you've got a towel or a cushion, put it underneath the other knee. 
I'm out. I've got the left foot forward. We're going to do the hip flexor here first. Tilt, push forward, like we've been doing. And lean back. Don't lean back too far, but it makes you your lower back pinch. Just go and stretch there. Hold it. So if you're sitting, you're about to sit at your desk for a long time today, do this throughout the, when you can sit up. On your way to the loom or the bridge, do this. Then I want you to grab hold of that back foot and pull it up. And stay as high as you can. Try and grab it with both feet and stay as tall as you can. If you find that difficult, do a standing quad stretch. But this is, gets nice, really high up here. It almost hits your hip flexor again. Hold on to it, it takes a bit of wobbling. Hold. Again, do that one on your way to the loop. Okay, tilt. Push forwards, drop the shoulders, squeeze the glute. Is there anybody nibbling all day? Oh, it's shocking, isn't it? You're sitting at a desk and the house is completely silent. You think nobody notices why I open the fridge. Carrots and celery. Boring, but you know, you to keep your mouth moving. Okay, back foot. Stay tall, try and grab it with both feet. You might find that one is a little bit more stiff than the other, and so it's slightly more painful. Hold on to something if you, if you need to. Hold on to that. So try pushing the hip forward, and then you'll feel it will suddenly kick in. Hold on to that. You should try and hold that for a minute. We haven't got the time now, but. Try and hold that for a minute when I'm gone. Hamstrings, you do a standing hamstring stretch, the hips out behind you. Lift the toe as well. Oh dear, I'm just going to wipe my dripping in the face. Amazing, everybody. Amazing. So lovely for you to, so brilliant of you to join me on a Monday morning. It's hard, isn't it? Especially when it's seven o'clock. Kind of stops you going over the top really on a Sunday of one. And well done. Just put one arm across like that. You do quite a bit of shoulder work. And the other side, bring it across. And just stretch out one side. And then stretch out the other side. It's uh, a lovely, lovely workout next to, at 10 o'clock. If you want to join me on Woman and Home Facebook page. It's uh, low impact cardio. Well done, everybody. Thank you, Emma. Morning, Alex Tillett. How lovely joining us from the front line. And Linda and Josie. Oh, fantastic. Morning, Amanda. I'm peering because I'm here. Janet, Liz. I'm peering because I've got the glasses on. Well done. I hope your day in paradise was suitably gorgeous. Have a lovely day. See you Wednesday or maybe later. <laughs>